everybody, Mike the Bob Builder Guy here for learning about WordPress. And today I'm going to show you how to download a new theme to your site. First I'm going to show you how to install one of WordPress's free themes. Then I'll show you how to install a premium theme. Now a premium theme is one that you buy. Alright, and my favorite place to buy themes is at, shameless plug right here, iThemes.com. All right, so after we, so here we are in our dashboard, and we're going to come down here to Appearance, hit the drop-down arrow, click on Themes, and here we can see the current theme. Scroll down a bit, and it'll show me the uh, other themes that I have downloaded. These are premium themes that I got from iThemes.com. Head on back. Now we want to install a theme, so we're going to click on Install Themes. If you happen to know the name of your theme, you would just type it in right here and then hit search. Scroll down, and here we have a number of different, uh, as they call them, filters. I'm going to pick uh, blue because I like the color blue. And I'm going to come over here and click on right sidebar under columns because I like right sidebars. Alright, I'm going to come down here and click on find themes. And it's going to bring up a number of different themes. Uh, if you happen to uh, think this one looks pretty good, maybe you'll click on preview and it will show you what it's going to look like. And when you know it, the one I pick does not bring us a preview, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll come over here to simple blog design. I'll click on that preview and hope that works. And there it is. And we scroll on down, and it just gives us an idea of what it's going to look like on our site. Now, if we happen to like that one, we come over here and click Install. Back over here to Install Now. And there it is, installed. Okay, we're going to want to activate it, so we simply click Activate. And we head up here. Now, here's the old default 2010 theme. We'll refresh the site. And here is the new theme. So as you can see, and you can also notice that all of the uh, previous content has been switched over to the new theme. So after looking at the site, you decide maybe you don't really like it and you want to get rid of it. Well, that's simple enough. Come back over here to the original theme, click Activate. And what that'll do is it simply replaces the uh, the new one with the old one. And if you want, you can either leave this design sitting here or you can delete it. And in my case, I'm going to hit delete, click OK, and the site is gone. So that's how you download a free WordPress theme. But what do you do if you want to download a theme that you bought? Well, after you've downloaded it, the new theme to your desktop or wherever it is you uh, store themes on your computer. You head back over here to install themes. Come up here to upload and you will click on that. And here's your browse button where when you click on that it will take you to your computer. And in my case I saved the theme in a, a folder, very original. I would highlight it. Come down here and click Open. Click Install Now. All right, it's been installed, and we're going to activate it. And it tells you right here the current theme is Titanium by iThemes. Who would have thought? And come up here and refresh, and there is the new theme, easily installed. All right. Now you'll notice over here on the left hand side you have a new tab that says My Theme and generally speaking uh, Premium Themes will give you a tab where you can find the various options that affect that particular theme. All right, So you just click on one of these and, and make whatever adjustments or whatever you want to customize your theme. All right. Now the question I often get is, 
Well, why would I want to spend money on a theme when I can get one for free? Well, a free theme is great, but <clears throat> what you see is what you get. And there's generally very little room for customization uh, for making it yours, if you will. Uh, and unless you know CSS and HTML, you're pretty much, as I said, stuck with what you got. Now, with the premium theme, you have the freedom to change things around, to add things, thing, you know, change the fonts, change the colors, stuff like that. Uh, you can make it yours. And if your site is being used for business, then a premium theme is a good idea. Because as your business grows, you want uh, something that's going to expand and grow with your business. And also as a business, you don't want a cookie cutter site. You want something that makes you unique and makes you stand out. And if you're anything like me, you want to have control over your site. So if you're a bit of a control freak, I highly recommend a premium theme. Now, as always, if you have any questions about adding themes or anything else related to WordPress, you can get a hold of me right over here at theblogbuilderguide.com. Uh, you can email me at mike at theblogbuilderguide.com or meet me on Facebook, facebook.com slash theblogbuilderguy or even learning about WordPress. And if you're interested in some really high quality themes, premium themes, ithemes.com is the place to go. So everybody, until the next time, I thank you for watching the video, and I hope you learned something. And again, if you got any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. So until the next time, have a good day, and bye-bye.